Opinion poll may embolden new anti-gun bill passage. H.R. 3999 introduced in U.S. Congress. Will mob rule deny others their right to self-defense? So there's a new opinion poll, and it shows that a majority of Americans favor denying others the right to self-defense. My name is Paul Gordon, and I am with iState.tv. And uh, we don't do these regularly, but I decided today this was worthy of a video. Our iTop story of the day was worthy of a video. And you'll note the individuals that I chose to be uh, uh, representative of, of, of those whose rights may be denied through mob rule. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that, that image choice a little, little bit later on. So uh, there's a new opinion poll released by Politico that indicates that a majority of Americans seem more than ready to support further limiting the basic human rights of others to be able to provide for self-defense against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Now, never mind that the poll was released by Politico, which is another agitprop media organization that uh, basically it does the bidding of the progressive deep state confederation of shared interests. I just made that up sticking with it so the poll could actually be skewed which well that, that wouldn't be i don't think it wouldn't be surprising i don't think it would surprise anyone but the very nature of the poll and how so many interested parties are treating the poll be they pro or anti-gun shows how conditioned the overwhelming majority of americans are to believe that polls have the weight or maybe should have the weight or maybe we fear they will have the weight of policy. And that policy question is over the degree to which human beings should be able to equip themselves with defensive tools in light of the fear that other humans have, that this human being might use them, these, these defensive tools, to do something like the sick man in las vegas did and i i'm 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 gonna highlight here an article from bearing arms so i'll be reading from bearing arms here and i do link to that bearing arms article in my article that i'm using to create this video and of course the article is linked as usual in the description in the comments below the video so polit so this is from bearing arms okay Politico released the details on a new poll regarding the public feelings on gun control. For many gun rights activists, it's not welcome news either. After all, it shows massive support for a number of gun control members that pro-Second Amendment groups have been fighting for years. Uh, well, it really fighting against for years, including universal background checks, waiting periods, and a national gun sale registry. And as they say, yes, it looks bleak. So this is now Bearing Arms is quoting from Politico. And no, I do not link to Politico because I don't link to fake news. 64% of voters support stricter gun laws, the poll shows, including 41% who strongly support them. Less than 3 in 10 voters, 29% oppose stricter gun laws, including 16% in strong opposition. That's, that's what you're looking at, 16% in this poll. Only 16% were in strong opposition. And Politico continues, That's a slight increase in support from June of this year when 61% of voters backed stricter gun laws and 33% opposed them. So Democratic voters are overwhelmingly supportive of new gun laws. What a surprise. 83% backed stricter laws compared with only 12% who opposed them. Among independents, it's 58% that... Uh, support them and 33 percent oppose them but the poll also finds some less likely groups are closely split 49 percent of republican voters support stricter gun laws that's right 49 percent of republican voters you just wow there you go 
and you wonder why the Republican Party doesn't re reflect this this myth of uh, limited government and the the conservatism that I hear people talking about. It's because you're not who you say you are. You, the rank and file. Among voters who said that they supported Donald Trump in last year's election, 46% are, percent are in favor of stricter gun laws and 48% are opposed. So that means even amongst Donnie's kids, there is a, 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 a very, it's a very slight plurality, not even a majority of plurality, a slight plurality that are against stricter gun laws. Just, that's that, these are your neighbors, folks. If you value liberty, these are your freaking neighbors. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not going to read the, 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 the rest of this, uh, but you can go to you can go to the article and read a little bit more of what the political poll had to say. And uh, I just I, I'm not so interested in the details of the poll. And I'm sure thanks to this poll and the capitulating surrender monkeys response of the NRA. A bipartisan bill has been proposed that, uh, well, it would ban any device that speeds up the the rate of fire for semi-auto weapons. And the bill is called HR 3999, and it has no summary written yet, but so far, this is all that's written about it. And I quote, to amend Title 18 United States Code to prohibit the manufacture, possession, or transfer of any part or combination of parts that is designed and functions to increase the rate of fire of a semi-automatic rifle, but does not convert the semi-auto rifle into a machine gun and for other purposes. And uh, the the demystifying version of that is essentially it's a very broadly written bill as it exists today that limits any attempts to uh, enable you to fire your gun faster, even if firing your gun faster doesn't take it to the level of being, strictly speaking, full auto. So here you have an ostensible republic gauging public opinion to determine policies that will profoundly affect your right to acquire effective tools of self-defense. Now, mind you, take in the nature of that public. This is a public that I, I, I got to point out, has been subject to generations of conditioning by the state and its operatives, the ones in the media, the ones in Hollywood, etc., to fear guns, to trust that the state will protect them and will do so with supreme benevolence. So that bill, H.R. 399, as it is written to 399, that's three nines, three and three nines, 3999, as it is written today, appears to go far beyond bump stocks and slide fires. And this is, this right here is the nature of the state, people. Identify and or create a crisis that produces a pitch level of fear. Produce legislation that is ostensibly designed to stop a particular thing from happening again. In this case, that someone could use a bump fire stock to mow down tens of people. And write legislation that is as in, a, in as vague a way as possible to let regulators expand the original ostensibly original intent of uh, the legislation. This is a giant front door that they mean to swing open. And the NRA helped them cover to do it, or, or excuse, helped give them cover to do it. And now this poll, along with more that I am sure will follow, most of all of which will be run by biased agencies doing the bidding of the progressive deep state confederation of shared interests will be used to offer politicians the reassurance they need that they can vote for legislation that violates the basic human right to self-defense without using or losing their source for power and revenue, a political seat in the legislature 
as a result of that fundamental betrayal of liberty. Now, there is one side benefit to the presidency of Donald Trump, and that's this. The type of people who are pro-gun are not just conservatives and libertarians, and this kind of goes back to the picture that I chose. Or blue dog Democrats. Nope. There's a growing number of people on the left that are now coming to appreciate why it is that people need guns to protect them from tyrannical governments. So let me close with an excerpt from an article in Vice. I'm going to read just a part of the excerpt that I included in my article. And remember, Vice is no bastion of conservative or gun values. And the article is about the growing appreciation for gun, right, gun rights coming from the left. And now this is from Vice. Less attention is paid to the leftists who oppose gun control, but they're out there. The Black Panthers famously advocated using guns for self-defense, and white fears about black people with guns help inspire gun control. By the way, that was in California. That was Ronald Reagan. Today, Dallas's Huey P. Newton Gun Club continues that legacy. The idea of guns granting power to the oppressed isn't unique to black power groups. Gun control means disarming the revolutionary masses of oppressed classes, a leftist named William, William Gillis told me in, e in an email. Gillis, one of the 15 anti-gun control leftists I talked to by phone and email for this story, called gun control the worst possible idea in history. Now I'm not going to, to read the, the rest of the excerpt that I, that I include here, but I encourage you to go to the site and read more about the 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 rising support for gun control for gun uh, liberty from the left <laughs> so and 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 I'm going to have more to say soon about the growing tide against guns in America in future i talks that i have in mind but for now folks i want you to keep watching that hr 3999 very carefully you can bet that, that I'll be watching them here on iState.tv. I am Paul Gordon, and this is your iTop. It's not your iTop of the day because you don't always get an iTop. But you do always get iTops on iState.tv in article form. And now, now you get to hear the close of the show. As usual, make sure that you like, share, comment. I'd love to hear what you thought about the video. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash iState. And if you're going to subscribe, you might as well hit that bell right next to the subscribe button so you know the next time we make a video. Because you will not see us and we will not see you until the next time we make a video.